What's up? I'm Courtney Sargent Sr. and this is the Design Goat Podcast where I teach the art and the business of design. Now listen, myself, I have been a web designer and graphic designer for nearly 15 years. I've personally designed over 100 websites and I like to consider myself a design goat because I've been through the ringer of all of it. Any and everything that you can imagine to happen in this industry, I have been in there. I've coded. I started out as a code, a web developer. I started out writing code in HTML and JavaScript and CSS. I started out building WordPress themes and templates and plugins from scratch. Um, I started out coding websites from scratch and building websites from scratch. And then we had the, the DIY um, website builders to come in and I perfected that. Uh, my weapon of choice is Elementor because it's absolutely love Elementor is the easiest and fastest uh, thing to use to build websites. Um, I've tried Squarespace, didn't like it. I tried Canva websites, hated it. Uh, I tried um, Shopify. I actually really like Shopify. I like WooCommerce. I like WordPress. I've done it all as a web designer and web developer. Um, I worked in corporate America. I've had my own business, which I currently have my own business as a full-time uh, designer, brand strategist, and a web designer. I have an agency called Sergeant Branding Firm. You can learn more about it at sergeantbranding.com. My first job, I would say, it really wasn't a job because I wasn't getting paid to do it, was working at my church because that was my start. That's where I learned how to code websites. That's learn where I learned how to use Dreamweaver and use Photoshop and you know, do all of those things because I was doing it for my church. From there, my first actual paying job was at a newspaper company where I was a web designer and I rocked out in that row at the time. I believe I was making thirty five thousand at that job. And then at my next job, I was making forty five, fifty thousand somewhere in there. I worked there for a couple of years and then we moved from Mississippi to Texas where we live today. I was working like temp jobs and I would just get various different jobs. And then I landed uh, my permanent job at a tech company and there I was a creative director. I went to a real estate company after that and then it was kind of like in the same range but the money went up just a little bit. So I think at the tech company I was making like 75 and then at this real estate company it was like 80, somewhere in there, 80, 85. And then after I left that real estate company, because our boss was just so horrible, our senior boss. Now my direct supervisor, she was amazing. Best supervisor I ever had. Uh, she was the art director. I love her, Nikki. Shout out to Nikki if you see in this. So I left, left there and then I went to, I'm skipping a lot because I was actually a full-time entrepreneur in between the tech company and the real estate company. So I did like a year stint of full-time entrepreneurship, got burned out, and I'm like, nope, I gotta go back to corporate America. I tried, this was my second time going full-time. Uh, so, you know what, I put my pride to the side and I was struggling. It was, it was tough trying to make ends meet and so I decided, you know what, I gotta go back to corporate America to have a job to provide for my family. And that's, you know, the, the biggest point I really wanna make is that you cannot be prideful, you know, when it comes to money. You have to do what it takes in order to provide for yourself and your family. And so I decided to go back to corporate America and that's when I went to the real estate company. And from there, I worked probably a year and some change. I went to Frito-Lay and that was like my dream job. I landed my dream job at Frito-Lay. I still have the graphics that um, I designed as our test project. It was like a Cheetos app. And I mean, it was dope. Like it was some really, really dope graphics and I'm very proud of what I created. And obviously they were too, because they hired me. So I was an outside contractor. I worked there for a little over a year. Now that I think about it, I don't think I stayed at many of these jobs over a year, um, but I'm always like, I've always been on the move and I'm always looking for the next up. I'm always looking for the next level. And I've always known that every job I was at was a stepping stone to something greater and something bigger. And so you have to look at it as that as well. Every place that you're at, you're there for a specific purpose. Use that as a launching pad to your next and not just a lounge chair just to sit back and be comfortable, right? So uh, landing my, free, my dream job at Frito-Lay, I worked there for a little over a year, probably a year and a half. This was right before the pandemic. 
And then right when the pandemic started, like at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, um, I just kind of let the job go. It was probably a little bit further into 2020 because I actually caught COVID too, which was crazy time. I'll tell you that story in another another video. But um, so at Frito-Lay, I was making about six figures at Frito-Lay. So I was right at the six figure mark all along the way, ever since my first job at my church, which was a non-paying job, I started my business then, my freelance business. And so I've had that freelance business and company ever since 2019. I mean, I'm sorry, it's ever since 2009. And I get numbers backwards sometimes. So if I do that, forgive me, it might be a little dyslexia, but that ain't diagnosed. So I don't know, we'll see. So ever since 2009, I started my business and I've had it ever since then. And I've had clients, you know, every year. And so, as I mentioned earlier, I've built you know, over a hundred websites at this point. So I am a goat. You see my chain, right? I am the design goat and you can be a design goat. And if you want to make six figures, you have to be a design goat. Like you're not just going to happen upon six figures as a web designer. You know, this is a field that there's a lot of opportunity as a web designer, right? There's, there's a lot of opportunity, you know, but you have to know what you're doing. Like this is not something that you can just, you know, fly by night and call yourself a designer. Now, I know a lot of people that do, but I can guarantee you they ain't making six figures. You have to know your craft. You have to put in the time to learn what you do. You can't just like, I just want to be a web designer because I hear they make a lot of money. No, man, you got to love this shit. Like, this is not just a hobby for me. And this can't be just a hobby for you, because if it is, you're never going to hit the six figure mark. I promise you that. It ain't going to happen because it's going to take a lot of grit and a lot of hustle and a lot of grind and a lot of dedication and a lot of belief. That's the most important thing. It's going to take a lot of belief on your part, because if you believe you can do it, you can do it. I would encourage you at the beginning of this this new year to sit down and figure out how much money do I really need to live my ideal life, my paradise life, whatever that is, write it down. Write down all your expenses and then write down all the income sources and then you can really figure out, OK, well, I don't need one hundred thousand dollars a year. You know, you might find that eighty thousand dollars a year is, is good for you or 60 or 50,000 is good for you. Again, it just depends on your situation. If you found this video helpful, then just click that little like button and click subscribe on the channel and the bell icon and you'll get notified when I upload new videos like this. And please leave a review on iTunes because it helps the show get out there in a big way. All right, until next time, listen, you can be a design goat if you believe that you can be. I'm here to help you get there and you just gotta believe in yourself, man. That is the number one key to success, period. All right, until next time, let's make it better by going up together. Peace.